What's up dudes and doodles, and welcome back for another video. If you're new here, hi, my name's Danny. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below and ring that bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. While you're at it, go ahead and like this video and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of Christmas is. In today's video, I will be creating a couple Christmas cards for my family using different mediums. So go ahead and grab yourself a snack and let's make some art. This first card will be for my parents. I will be making a cute little snowman using the Kuretake watercolors I recently ordered from Amazon. The surface for all these cards will be Canson watercolor paper, 140 pound cold press, and a sketch I am using an Artist Loft, which is the Michaels brand, watercolor pencil so that the sketch dissolves into the card and won't be easily seen. So enjoy, and I'll be back shortly to talk about the next card. Kuretake watercolors are a traditional Japanese watercolor and really do go down smoothly. I love how easy they are to build up and just a small amount will go a long way. It also doesn't take very much water to activate the pigments either. These have to be one of my favorite watercolors so far.
For this card, I am using some Ahuhu alcohol brush markers to draw this adorable little Santa face for my aunt and uncle. Along with the markers, I'm using a Tombow brush pen and a white jelly roll size 10 pen. We have one more card to make, so relax and I'll be back shortly. The Ahuhu alcohol markers are another one of my favorite supplies that I haven't been using as much since working on my digital art. They really are a cheaper alternative to more expensive copings. When using them, I can barely, if even at all, tell a difference between the two brands. The only downfall is that they are not refillable like the copings, so if you run out of a marker, you don't have a similar color, you will need to buy a whole new set because I don't believe they're sold in. And 
For this final card for my grandparents, I am using the Stabilo pens and a water brush to create a sort of watercolor piece of some Christmas bulbs on the tree. This is the best way I have found to use these pens, and they've quickly become one of my favorite supplies. Just using a paper plate, I lay down some color, and then using the water brush, I'm able to apply it around and easily blend colors together for more dimension. Away the old year passes, fa la 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 la. Hail the new year, lads and lasses, fa la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together, fa la 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 la. Heedless of the wind and weather, fa la 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 la. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. After everything's laid down, I do go back over with the pens themselves and try to create the needles of the branches. Then with a final wash of green, I try to blend it all back together so it's not so harsh. To finish it off, I'm using a gold Uniball Signo and the same white jelly roll from the last card.
And with that, we've come to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed watching me create some Christmas cards for my family. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. What is one of your favorite holiday traditions? If you'd like to follow my art adventures further, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and Discord. All the links will be in the description down below. On the screen now, you should see a recommended video. If you haven't, you should check it out. Happy holidays from me to you, and until next time, happy drawing! Thank <laughs> you.